take it back to where it all began the purpose of night by the sand that's it mate just straight down that way it looks steep <laughs> more sure about coming back up wow Got pretty real out here. Bit of a choose your own adventure type situation. And yeah, we were getting there, but very steep going. Pretty sure we're just on a goat's trail. Oh, Bush Tucker Man, what's he got? Something cherry? I can't remember. Oh, cherry. He's gonna eat it on the first day of the packraft trip. I'm not carrying your body up there, just so you know that. Once upon a time, in a land of rugged mountain ranges, there was a man with the spirit of a boy and probably a little bit of ADHD, forever destined to seek out adventure behind every corner, down every river, in every little silly moment he finds himself in. His feet and legs are his wings, the world his oyster. Increasingly resistant to the pull of man's machine, the nine to five rat race, the mind numbing existence of modern society. Holding on to a more poetic life, where the trees are alive and the birds sing stories of old. Where if you slip, you might not get back up. But if you make it to the top, boy is it a hell of a view. Follow me on an adventure as I make my way into an ancient world where few ever bother to journey. Here we are again, my favourite part of pack rafting. <laughs> I can't wait to hear everybody's uh, tips and tricks on filling this up faster. <laughs> <laughs> Like any one of those little pumps? Yeah! You know those? We really need to get one of those. Oh mate, we do. We need one of those little pumps. It takes like two seconds. <laughs> like uh, Rob Parsons from Tassie. Oh yeah. He's all about that little pump. Alright, here we are again boys and girls. Out on the raft for a little paddling fun. I'll see you in a bit, Scotty. <laughs> Going down the first section by accidente. Just started drifting. Scotty's still setting his uh, his camera up. Easy. Enough talk. Let's get into some turbulence. That's what I do for a living. My middle name is Turbulence. Capital O letters. Oh yeah. So I put out a little questionnaire or whatever on Instagram asking what you guys think I should name my bright blue raft uh, obviously blue wouldn't be my first choice but I love it anyway the name that I have decided upon for this raft is Pack Rafter after the great Australian tennis player shout out to Matty B for that name He's a painter, he's an artist, so I will link his, his, uh, his pages and stuff um, down in the description below because he's done some really nice artwork based off um, some of my, uh, some scenes from some of my trips. So, and they're beautiful, like he, he does amazing work. So yeah, check him out on the description link below. I'm too excited to speak. Uh. There's nothing I won't hit. Oh. Oh, that was my rock. Yeah! Woo! Oh! He's, he's unstoppable! Oh! Woo! Yeah! Woo! That's Scotty about to hit his first big rapid. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, oh my gosh, he jumped.
I borrowed Scotty's Scotty's favourite pair of shades actually um, I don't know about these uh, yeah as usual I left something at home well I actually left my sunnies in my car so they made it that far and then at some point just didn't make the final cut by accidente so now I'm looking like a true squire with these filthy sunnies <laughs> there are some who say that life is short that tomorrow is never promised now, I don't live like every day is my last, but when faced with an opportunity to grab life by the horn, I bloody do it, mate. Be a hell of a shot. <laughs> well, they said it couldn't be done, but I'm out here to prove them wrong. Boom. All right, boys, let's get this bread. Where's my paddle? Nobody even knows. Nobody even knows. I'm up, I'm up, shit creek with no paddle. And uh, Scotty's over there looking for her right now. And I'm just gonna check this side. Cause obviously I can't get anywhere else other than where the water puts me. <laughs> right, the case of the missing paddle. I jump in there. Yeah. Um, and just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the ride down. <laughs> oh god. That was chaos for a second. But well, it's still <gasps> it's still chaos. We have no paddle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you meant to like, are we meant to attach the paddles to something? I, like I was a, thinking that. I feel like that's a hazard. Yeah, well that's why I didn't, because I'm I've got a kayak one like one for the kayak. Oh. Ah, oh, he's taking me straight into a rock wall. <laughs> Bushcraft 101. Does nothing. <laughs> hey, I'm going to test, test the theory. Where did my paddle go? Where the stick goes, so too does my paddle. <laughs> we've, uh, we've done the unspeakable. <laughs> we've split the last remaining paddle and we're gonna go down the last little section here and hopefully find my paddle at the bottom of the next rapids just like the olden days a single single stroker when the chips are down it always matters what company you keep a positive attitude and a sense of humor makes all the difference I'd rather be out here with 30 kilometers to go and no paddle than be back at home stuck in traffic any day. Bloody hell, boys. Bloody David Copperfield. Bring on adversity, bring on a challenge, and bring on some real life stuff. You can keep your bloody investment apps for your highs and lows. I want the real deal, out here on the river. This is a real situation. This is a real situation. <laughs> Look, we can do it one time. Yeah. Um, Less desirable. <laughs> oh! We found it. This over there. Yeah! This is a losing heart. Oh! There goes my hero. <laughs> he has spotted the blue paddle. Battle it, battle it. Look at the intensity. We did it! Woo! Woo! Yeah. 
Alright, off we go to find camp, get a fire going, boil some water, have a hot cuppa, because we're both pretty much shaking just from being wet and it's it's really not warm today. It's very overcast and yeah, once you're wet down in this valley, get cold pretty quick. <sighs> we found it. There is something to be said for the simplicity of camp life. The way it draws you in to focus on being present. I have a very busy mind. When I'm at home, I find myself feeling buried beneath a lot of what I deem to be very unnecessary tasks. Out here though, I have room to breathe. My thoughts can run free in the open and my time is my own. Not a thousand other people's. I feel at peace. One cast, look how many he has to do, he has to do one. Oh, he slipped over, I wish I got that. He did a little stumble and now he's got his dry clothes wet, which is actually, actually a bit of a disaster. Happens to, the, happens to the best of us, Scotty, doesn't it, mate? So many boulders. Who put so many boulders in this river? Who put the boulders here? I want to know. I'm going to write them an email. <laughs> All right, here we go. As I paddle through the gorge, I feel alive. I know my time on this earth is fleeting. My life is chance, a gift, rare. My only wish is to live it so. I ask for no more and expect no less. There are things to see here that many of us miss in 80 years. A lifetime isn't long enough to see it all, but I'll fill my boots. I'll dirty my clothes and take some risks. In the end, we all move on. What you did or didn't do that was expected won't matter. Be bold, be brave, be adventurous, or somebody else will have all the fun. Just such a prehistoric sound, I don't know. Just gives this place a really ancient feeling. It's funny the contrast between <laughs> a quiet place like this and just your everyday, everyday life. You'd think the balance would be majority like this, and then when you gotta just hustle for a couple days in that absolute chaos of traffic and noise and commercials and buses, trains. Yeah, you would just think that that would be something that we just have to do, we just gotta get through it for couple days a week. Not the case. If you're lucky, you find it spare time to come and be in a place as relaxing and soothing as this. Well, I say relaxing, but I nearly perished yesterday. <laughs> but, yeah.
I thoroughly enjoyed that section. Here's Scotty talking about sandstone too much. Area. Right. The Budawangs is made up of conglomerate sandstone. Right. Whereas, like, say, the sandstone in the Blue Mountains isn't conglomerate. It's right. like just like corkscrew sandstone. Yeah, it's like okay. fine sand. Yeah. Look the size of the boulders and stuff. Like yeah. It's obviously like the, the riverbed, some stage. It's like this rock True. wallet formed first. Yeah. And then there would have been like a, a giant river or something. Yeah. It would have been like, like Antarctica was attached to Australia. There's a big river thing sort of flowing around like Antarctica into the Australia region. Right. And like, I think, like a thousand years is hard enough to get away like 10,000 or 100,000 or a million or a hundred million or like a billion. Like it's just... It just goes on and on. Insane. The earth is just constantly changing. So like you see, you see what you, like you see and you think, oh, it's always been like this and always will be like this. But nah. in another, I don't know, a few hundred million years, this might be completely different. Like, yeah. It's completely different. This is just like the, the blink of an eyelid. through what looks like a pleasant little passageway through some trees, through some casserina. my bum on those rocks. Why not? So pretty in here. Beautiful. Mate, lovely. Oh! oh. <laughs> How did that even happen? Yeah, yeah, I got over that. <laughs> well, that was uh, that was a bit of fun. Lost the paddle yesterday, lost the raft today, no worries. Scotty was just saying that they do say to use lockable carabiners for your tow rope, but now I, I definitely see why. Learn something every day about pack rafting. He's bopping his way down this next section. Just the bird sounds are so beautiful in a place like this. Ha, ha, ha.
All right, well, we finally finished setting up camp and we're going to go down and have a little fish because we've actually seen a couple couple big boys jumping up out of the water. So I'm pretty sure it was actually trout. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see to confirm that. It may have been a bass. So I've just uh, seen a little group of wild pigs over there, which is good given my sleeping arrangements for the night. <laughs> Down in there, Pig City, come get it. Looks like we're having bacon for breakfast, boys. They come trying to spoon me. Dinner's served. <laughs> we did it. Not bad, mate. So it wasn't a trout, but we got ourselves a nice, nice bass here. And there is supper. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> So not too sure how we're going to cook him just yet. I've gutted him and left the scales on. I think we might actually just cook him on the coals tonight. Yes, not a bad fish. <laughs> Pretty stoked with that. Look how sad he is that I got a fish and he didn't. He won't rest until he's got a fish now. Straight on a bed of coals, you reckon? Yeah. It's been a while since I've done fish like this actually. Straight on. Well mate, I think this kind of tops off the, the freshly caught bass straight out of the river in a bloody epic place. That's it mate. There's nothing worse than seeing fish jump and knowing that they're there and just yeah, I know. not even get getting a bite, yeah. hey. Here it sizzle. Just leave it on this end. Dig in, mate. Nah, mate, it's all yours. You gotta dig in. Alright, right. what do we got? It's not a bad tasting fish, eh? Not at all. Not at all.
Mornings out in the bush are extraordinary. The sounds of the birds remind you that a new day is beginning and to rise up to meet it. It's like a reset button, something that we miss out in our day-to-day -day life. We startle ourselves to life with the most obnoxious and disturbing alarm that we can find. Even trying to find a nice one is still the best of a lot of terrible options. How on earth do we do it? I always naturally wake with the sun and the sounds of the birds out here, in the open. Not fenced in and walled in, hidden from all the natural light. It's a lovely way to be. It's calming, but it's energizing at the same time. Spending so much time on trips like this, I really do start to wonder how we ended up where we did. It's like somebody must have tricked us into giving all of this up. Alright, well the sun is out in full effect, we're going to pack up camp, we're going to jump in the pack rafts and head over to this little eddy on the other side of the river there, where we saw a couple of fish jumping last night, and have a bit of a fish, and see how we go, otherwise pack it up and continue forth to where we pull out. Alright, let's go, goodbye camp. You're an absolute ripper. Fish, fish hooking pants. Off we go. What'd you catch, mate? Scotty's gonna snag about. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well we've given up on the fishing along that stretch. Continue on down. Woo. I don't know how I feel about this trip coming to an end. As we near the final destination of this adventure, I have mixed emotions. I always have this feeling that I'm about to press pause on my real life and head to some weird function or gathering organised by a friend of a friend that I don't really know or care much about. It's strange. It's quite isolating as well. I feel like I would head out on these trips for the same reason some tech geek would put on an AR headset with a big smile on his face before going on the biggest, fakest adventure of his life. But these feelings aside, I'm always grateful to have had this experience out in nature, out in what wild places are left, even if only slightly wild. They bring me to life, feed my soul and heal my wounds. These adventures are a part of me, it's who I am, I'll always live for them, big or small, all shapes and sizes. Also I feel it's important to point out that <laughs> I didn't really want to dress in all black but I just didn't want to go spending money on bits and pieces that I already owned, which unfortunately were already black. The Packraft Ninja. Packraft the Ninja. The Dark Knight of the River. The Dark Knight of the River. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. We did it. Left your phone back down there. With oh, the God. <laughs> well, my plan is to do a sign off at the top, but I, I am pretty sure we are not going to make that. <laughs> I think our faces says it all. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> That was absolutely brutal, but it was worth it. It's really hard to say that right now, feeling the way we feel, but it was an amazing trip. Um, cheers to Scotty for sort of lining that one up and organizing it, especially the big hike at the end. I really enjoyed that part, mate. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I guess we'll see you on the next one if we, if we still feel if, like doing it. If we decide to do another trip. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys. 
Catch ya. Hooroo.